Hi, this is Fred at GetMeCoding.com, and we're actually now taking another step and learning a little bit more about Scratch. Last time we were together, if you looked at the prior video, you noticed that we made Scratch look like they're floating in outer space here. Well, not really outer space, but floating at the beach or above the water or the boardwalk. So when you begin to build your animation, right, you're actually controlling a sprite. We already talked about that. And in our prior example, we started with this when clicked event, and we had some activities going on here. So when you click it again, nothing really happens. He, he kind of moves around. I have to actually drag him back down here to the bottom and I click the green flag and he flies up there again. Then I got to drag him back and over and over again. Well, that's really not a good automated way about anything. So we always have to reset or go back to the beginning. One of the easiest ways to do that whenever you're building an animation or a game or any type of uh, interaction with Scratch, you need to send them back to the starting point. To do that, we already talked about the XY coordinate plane. And if you take your mouse and I, if I move it down here, I could see that my X and Y keep changing. So as I come back, say I want Scratch to start right here every time. So it's at negative 198 for X and for Y, it's minus 80. So if you don't remember what that minus sign means, go back to the last video and I explain it there, but basically it's anything to the left of center zero and below zero is a minus sign. Okay, so we will say go to, and then we're gonna have a spot here. Actually, I'm gonna drag it back because this is a pretty neat feature. When I click on a spot I want it to go to, I am going to drag him back here. Now the X and Y changed to exactly where I place Scratch. That's a really neat feature. So now I bring it back here into my script area. I'm going to break my, blo my blocks free. And I'm going to put in, when I click the green flag, he goes to the starting spot. And then we begin to do our animation. So now we have it all in place. I click the green, <laughs> if I could speak, click the green flag, he still flies out in space. Now I click it again, he starts back from the beginning. See how that works now? That's a pretty cool feature. So now all of a sudden we're, we're sending him back to the beginning and he's going forward. We need to bring him back down onto the boardwalk though, don't we? So let's bring Scratch down and I could see that we wanted to move him straight or glide across here, right? So he's gliding across what's known as the x-axis. The x-axis is the horizon. See the little ships out here way out in the blurred blue ocean? We are moving him across the x-axis. So I'm going to say he's going to stay still there and let's see around move, move him there on 142. So we're saying he's gliding for one second on the x-axis and then the y. Well, the X is going to move him this way, but to move him up and down, we still want to keep him in one spot. Let's see what happens now. Still goes up because he's going to X124 and Y50. So what do you think we should do? Pause the video for a second and think about it. Okay, maybe you didn't pause it, but maybe you did. So now what are you going to do? That's right. You need to lower that Y value, and I'm going to make this not 50, I'm going to make it minus 68. And the X, well, I'm moving him further along. That's where, That works out pretty good. Let's click the green flag. See how that works now? So we're controlling it with the glide. Oh, if I want to make him go faster or slower, let's say we'll make him move slower. He's gliding to this point in one second. Let's make it three seconds. You think he's going to go faster or slower? That's right, he's gonna go slower. He's just cruising along. If I wanna make him go faster, well, what's faster than one second? Well, you might say a half a second. Well, how do you represent a half of a second? Okay, if you've taken a math class, you might know about decimal points and that's how we have to actually show that. So one second is a whole number, a whole number like one, two, three, four. But we also have increments that are known as decimals. What's half of one second? Well, half of one second is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 plus 0.5 is actually 10, but it's actually one in second terms. So we're gonna go 0.5. Let's check them out. 
No, he's cruising now. He's flying across the screen. So there, there you have it. We were able to now come in here to scratch and, and basically show you how we can control positioning and now with the glide speed.